With 72 tanks, Italy is about middle of the pack in regards to the number of tanks in its tech tree, having the same amount as France, but still beating out Japan and Israel. But there are still some Italian tanks that could be added to the Italian tank tech tree, some of which we will be looking at today. The first Italian tank that could be added is the Fiat 3000B, an Italian light tank from the interwar period. This tank was essentially a licensed produced French FT-17, with some minor but crucial differences. While the FT-17 it was based on was armed with the short SA-18 37mm gun, and the Fiat 3000A was armed with two 6.5mm machine guns, the B variant of this tank was armed with the much more effective Vickers Turney 37-40 gun, which is already used on the M11-39 in-game. The 3740 has a penetration of 26mm at 500m with APHE shells, which puts it on par with most 1.0 Italian tanks. Armour was relatively thin, being only 16mm at its thickest, making this tank fairly easy to destroy by most enemy weapons. To compound things, the armour is riveted, meaning there would be issues with spalling even in the event of a non-penetrating hit. It also suffers somewhat in mobility, only managing to have a top speed of 21 km an hour or 13 miles per hour, making this the slowest Italian tank in tier 1. Crew complement is only two, made up of a driver and commander manning the gun. This is a massive disadvantage to this vehicle, as it will likely increase reload times and make the vehicle easy to destroy via crew losses. Despite being obsolete in World War II, some were still around during that conflict, their last use being against Allied troops during the invasion of Italy, though these unsurprisingly didn't do very well. Despite its flaws, I think this tank would be good to have in War Thunder, and would likely be a replacement reserve vehicle for the L6-40 due to its slower speed and worse armour. Its gun is only slightly worse, with only 1mm less penetration at 500m, and it has 8 PHE shells, so it will be able to deal with enemy vehicles easily enough. It could also be added as a 1.0 premium tank, though personally I would like to see it in the regular tech tree. Adding this tank would allow players to experience an example of Italian interwar tanks, and would still be pretty fun to play in the lower tiers. The next tank I would like to see is technically not an Italian tank, but a French Char B1 bis that has had major modifications done to it, essentially turning it into an assault gun. I haven't found an official title for this tank, but most people seem to call it the Semivente Char B1 bis. Following the fall of France, Italy obtained a number of French tanks, including the Char B1 bis. Sources differ on how these were obtained, with some stating they had been found in a cave where they had been placed to prevent their capture by the Germans or Italians, while others state that they were taken directly from the factory. No matter how they were obtained, Italy now had a number of Char B1 BIS tanks, though many of these didn't have a turret, meaning the SA-35 75mm howitzer would be their main armament. The turret spot was covered by a metal plate. In game, the 75mm gun has a penetration of 50mm at 500m with APHE shells, which isn't too bad and is actually better than the 47mm gun used on the Char B1 BIS's turret, though at the cost of only being able to fire dead ahead. Hull armour would be the same as the regular Char B1 BIS, with 50-60mm of armour all around. Roof armour is 25mm, while the metal plate placed over the turret is supposedly 60mm, though I have also heard a lower figure of 10mm. Mobility might be slightly improved due to the reduction in weight from the removal of the turret, presumably giving improved acceleration. Max speed might be a little higher than the usual Char B1 BIS, which has a max speed of 28km an hour or 17mph. Crew complement on the original Char B1 BIS was 4, with a driver, commander, loader and machine gunner slash loader. In the Italian version, it is possible crew would be reduced to 3, though it's possible it would still be kept at 4, which should be possible due to the large size of the Char B1 BIS. So why should we have this vehicle in War Thunder? Despite the original Char B1 BIS already being in game, the Italian variant would play very differently to the French variant. If added to the game, it would probably be added as a premium vehicle at a battle rating of 2.0. In the event it was added to the regular tech tree, it would probably go either just before or just after the M41 in the tank destroyer line. 
I think this would be a very unique vehicle to have in the Italian tech tree, as while Italy already has many tank destroyers, they don't tend to be as heavily armoured as the Char B1 Bis. And as it is only armed with a short ranged 75mm howitzer, it may be more suited to close quarters combat than the already existing tank destroyers. Either way, I think this would be a very good tank to have in the Italian tech tree. For the last vehicle, I was originally going to do the AS-42, armed with the 47mm gun, a vehicle I thought would be useful as a fast tank destroyer. Apparently Gaijin agreed with me because the very next day, they announced it would be coming to War Thunder in the Fire and Ice update, and it has subsequently been released for the Italian tank tech tree. So instead, I've gone for a different vehicle, the Semavente Da 149-40, an Italian self-propelled artillery vehicle. Now it's unlikely this would be added, as only one was built and it was primarily designed for the artillery role, but I thought it would be a cool vehicle to cover in this episode nonetheless. This vehicle was armed with the Canon Da 149-40 Modelo 35, a 149mm artillery gun. It fired a 45.96kg HE shell, which is a hair under 6kg heavier than the 152mm HE shells used by the KV-2. This would presumably give it a penetration of around 50mm. I'm unsure if other non-explosive shells were used with it, but if they were, the penetration would likely increase somewhat. Armour is a little hard to discern, as it's not entirely known what chassis was used, with some sources stating the M15-42 was used, while some say the P40 was used. Either way, it's unlikely the frontal armour would be any thicker than 30mm with the rest of the tank less protected. The gun crew themselves are completely exposed, so will be vulnerable to any enemies, especially aircraft. Max speed wasn't too bad at 22 miles per hour or 35 kilometers an hour, which isn't too bad considering the cumbersome weapon you carried, meaning you could quickly reposition the vehicle between engagements. Crew complement is usually listed at 2 to 4, but it's likely this only refers to the vehicle's crew, while the gun itself would have needed more crew members. At minimum, I suspect the crew was six, presumably a driver and five crewmen to man the gun, consisting of a gunner, commander and three loaders. Like I said at the beginning, this vehicle is a bit of a stretch to add. Presumably it would be added as a premium at tier two, probably somewhere between battle rating 3.0 and 3.7. I think this could be a fairly cool vehicle, having a similar role to the Semavente 90-53, but with the potential to cause even more damage if fitted with non-HE shells. So as you can see, we still have a few unique Italian tanks to add to War Thunder. I personally would like to see the Semavente Char B1 Bis added first, as despite being a French vehicle, the Italians have turned it into something that would play completely different while filling a niche as a heavily armoured assault gun. I would like to hear in the comments which of these vehicles you are looking forward to the most, and are there any other Italian vehicles you think should be added to War Thunder? I look forward to reading your comments below. So that's it for today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it, I'm Toreno and I'll see you next time.